Long ago, our nature was not the same as it is now, but quite different. For one thing, there were three human genders. The parent of the male gender was originally the sun, that of the female gender, the earth, that of the combined gender, the moon, because the moon is a combination of sun and earth. We designed this project really to further our mission of taking choral music out of its comfort zone and so whilst we're here this week and we're, we're making it for the very beautiful and well-resourced surroundings of the Kiln studio here where we can control exactly what we're doing, it's, it's a work that can also inhabit all sorts of different spaces, so whether that's a crypt or whether it's a factory or whether it's a gallery space, the important thing is that we want this work to speak to a wider audience and, and to help us reach out to audiences that aren't necessarily within the, the cloistered surroundings of classical music. The project that we've been making this week on Residency is really designed as an unflinching look at human intimacy, longing and desire. The starting point for it has been a set of Italian madrigals from the Renaissance. All of the other elements really kind of bring out different strands. You discover new and different things, both in the poetry and in the musical language when it's placed alongside other texts and other music. And especially Joanna's music, I think, is a really interesting parallel with the musical language of people like Gesualdo and Meldet and uh, Rossi as well, because they are really pushing the boundaries for their time, but in a way, because it's so forward-looking, it matches very neatly with contemporary uh, composition. I suppose we're trying to look at these madrigals in a slightly new way and think, can we broaden out the experience of these works for more people and for more demographics? Intimacy and interpersonal relationships and emotions and violence in that context and thinking about it from a different perspective. And there's obvious reasons why my perspective is different to a 16th century man's. It feels really like the two materials are so different in some ways, but it, in, also, in other ways they're also bonded and it makes sense for them. And, and it's a nice, it's a really nice starting point. It has been a nice starting point for me to make something new, to start thinking about making something new. You find out so much more about the music by listening to it in a complementary way with these other things side by side. Um, but also because it's a wonderful way, this kind of mixed programming is a wonderful way to discover music that you might not have known otherwise. And whether that's um, pieces of early music that you might not have known or these newly commissioned pieces, and whether you're a fan of one or the other, there's always something really fantastic to discover, I think, in this kind of programming, which is why I think it's so important.